Hi guys, I'm back today with some more guild content for you. This week's GVG just seems to get crazier and crazier, as today I've confirmed something that really has blown my mind. So as a community, our guilds have managed to take the number one spot in almost every single division in the entire game. We've won in Ultimate, Legendary, Master, Elite and Rookie. And I think it's worth mentioning that the only division we didn't win in is Trial, and unfortunately that's the one division we don't have a guild in. But every division that we do have a guild in, we won. That is just incredible. Absolutely wild. I don't think there's another guild community in the game that has managed to top more than one division at a time. And yet somehow, Bushido have managed to top five simultaneously. Naturally, I am so impressed with everyone in our community. If you're in one of these guilds, well done. As the leader, it's so lovely to see everyone working so hard and for the results to be paying off. And I think this really does say a lot about how helpful our community's mentor program is across all levels of the game. For those that don't know about our mentor program, by the way, if you're a part of our guild, you gain access to the game's most comprehensive mentor program. We have a team of veteran mentors that will build your teams in PvP for you, help you with any PvE content, any aspect of the game that you need help with. You can have your own personal thread and a team of mentors to guide you through. We actually have over 100,000 comments in our mentor program now. It's the very core of our community and it's so nice to see it paying dividends. If you're interested in utilizing this yourself, the Discord link is in the video description. Come say hello. But yeah, I thought I'd take the time to go through each division and talk about each guild that won, the GVG landscape in each division, and how we've managed to pull off this crazy accomplishment. So first up, we have the Ultimate Division. I won't spend too much time on this as I've already made a video on Bushido versus Mystic after Mystic's merge with Bulls. We did manage to beat them, but they will be back with a vengeance next week, and I am expecting it to be incredibly difficult for us now they've had time to settle, get things in place, and strategize. One's Hope are also a notoriously strong guild that have reformed of late, so we'll be keeping an eye on them as well as they have rapidly grown and are looking really strong. And so, on to our victors in the Legendary Division. We have Kunai, with some of the guild's most well-known players being Aristio, Old Man of the Sea and Reborn. Legendary Division GVG has actually not been a thing for long and so there's not many guilds in there at the moment. I think around 20 max and this is increasing as more guilds leave Master Division and enter Legendary Division. I believe only Legendary guilds from server 83 and younger are in this division as this was when the split was made from all guilds participating in the same GVG pool to it being division based. But Kunai has been dominant since its inception six months ago, however, and we're hoping to stay as the number one guild until we enter Ultimate Division in around six months time. The guild's biggest rivals at the moment are Pro 100. However, there are also some promising guilds from the Master Division that will soon move up and join and could potentially give us a run for our money. Some fun food for thought, however. Kunai hasn't lost a GVG since the guild was opened up and because of this, they're at 3.2k points in the overall server rankings, with Pro 100 in second with 2.5k points. If Kunai keep getting first place, they'll keep amassing a huge amount of points, and when they enter Ultimate Division, they could jump straight into the top three. Now, that would probably not end well for Kunai. <laughs> now, next up, we have our Master Division champions, Naganata. Naganata's GVG has not been an easy ride. They've managed to scrape victories over the newly merged Phonix Myth and Blood Pact by just a few flags. Both of these guilds have Naganata beat on raw power, but regardless, they manage to work hard and push through as a guild to win. It's worth noting that Phonic Smith is a much younger guild than Naganata, however, and as such, if they continue to grow at their current rate, they could become even more of an issue later on. 
and Blood Pact is also not to be taken lightly. They're a subguild of Bloodlust, a long-standing Ultimate Division community, and are very strong in their own right. Naganata is led by Hyper7 and is an incredibly well-rounded guild with strong members across the board. It's really nice to see them overcome superior strength through an immense team effort. So, well done guys, you get a pat on the back from me. Our next champions are in the Elite Division, and they go by the name of Masakari. Honestly, I'm not even sure how to describe Masakari other than they are absolute units. They really are a force to be reckoned with. In fact, when they were back in the Trial Division, every single top 8 position in Championship was covered by a member of Masakari. Now that is mental stuff. With that being said, however, they are relatively new in the Elite Division, and as such, they've had to face much older guilds than themselves. And as older guilds have older players, they do have a time advantage that can lead to a strength advantage. And so that makes their accomplishment all the more impressive. They're led by Bushido Legend R5, or R-R-R-R-R5, as it's often written out. Bit of a mouthful, that one, not gonna lie. <laughs> But I would like to give a specific shout out to R5, as he has been with us since day one. He's been there since I first started the game, and he's one of our most valuable mods and leaders. We literally couldn't keep things running without him. So thank you so much, mate, for all your help. And to be honest, I should have said that about Hyper as well. You're both top guys. Thank you for the effort, lads. Really appreciate it. But yes, Masakari are immense. I couldn't possibly list all their top players, but just for a little teaser, we have Angie, Yorost, Tom Roderick, and of course, Bushido legend and content creator, Cashalot, who is well known for his YouTube channel, IMR Navigator. Well done on the accomplishment, lads. And finally, we have the dojo formerly known as 114, but now to be known as Kusari Gamma and they are led by another member of our fantastic mod team, Cads, who is playing far too many accounts at the moment. Get your feet up, mate. You don't have to play every account in the world. So Kusari Gamma will actually be graduating from the rookie division tomorrow and entering the trial division, but they did so with remarkable style, marking themselves as the uncontested top guild on server 114. I'm really excited to see how these guys progress. Bushido's core identity has always been on helping new players, having them grow, teaching them the game, and watching them excel after they've had that opportunity. And this is a perfect example of that. In fact, all of these guilds are a perfect example of that. So yeah, what a week it's been for the community. Well done, everyone. As I said in my previous video surrounding the Mystic Victory, we're not going to let this get to our heads, however. We need to keep pushing, keep improving, stay locked in, and solidify our position across all areas of the game. And of course, have shitloads of fun while we're doing it. That's the goal, and that is the ethos. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I massively appreciate it and it really does help a lot. If I could logistically send a signed postcard to every single subscriber, I would. Trust me on that one. I hope you all have a lovely day, guys. Good night and dog bless.